This guy's looking for him up here. Oh, hell nah. I would have stayed on that head glitch. He got lucky right there. Oh, he got lucky right there. He's on a brutal. This guy, yo, this guy's nerve wracking. Yo. Oh, shit. All right, so this is hands down one of the most interesting tactical nukes that I've ever watched on Modern Warfare. I think you guys will definitely enjoy it, and we can all learn something from this. With all being said, let's get right into the breakdown. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And welcome to episode 4 of the Subscriber Gameplay Breakdown Series. In this episode, we're going to be reacting to one of my subscribers, Sweetest Legends, first tactical nuke in modern warfare now he has around a 1.4 kd ratio which is a solid kd ratio for modern warfare and we'll be analyzing his gameplay his thought process his traffic patterns and everything that led to him getting his first tactical nuke in this game now if you guys want to see more best class setups best settings tips and tricks or any more gameplay breakdowns where i analyze my gameplay or break down and analyze your gameplay to help you guys improve Make sure you guys absolutely smash like button the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. As always, I'm going to be linking his YouTube channel at the top of the description below. Feel free to check him out. And with all being said, let's go ahead and analyze his gameplay and understand how he got his first tactical nuke. So you guys can see here, he is playing some hard point on shoot house. So this is going to be pretty interesting. And he says he has a funny reaction as well, so we're definitely going to check that out. Alright, so he's using the Growl 5.56. He has kind of the, the SMG variant of this. And he's turning down his master volume. This is pretty interesting. Um, my master volume is at 100. So I'm very curious to see why he decided to turn this down. Especially on this map, I want to be hearing footsteps. Okay, I, I can see a mistake right here. As weird as that sounds. He takes these two guys out here. I'm going to go ahead and pause the gameplay right here. Okay, so the first thing that he did that I probably would uh, make note of and would not do, but he obviously he still got his nuke, so it didn't really matter. But when he actually did that initial push, he ran on the left side of that container. I always would hit the right side of that container because sometimes, depending on if the enemy team is just going to bypass the objective and just run to the left side, they can actually just take you out easily from that window or you're going to get naded from somebody who just literally throws a grenade from that left side pass. So I would definitely hit the right side so you have more cover and you're least uh, likely to die. So that's something that I would go ahead and adjust in my gameplay. So he pushes up here. Takes his... Gets lucky right here. Oh, yeah. Takes him out. He just randomly turns around here. Takes this guy out as well. Nice. Then he gets slide shot it here. Okay, so something that I'm noticing right now is that he's his sensitivity is incredibly high. He's turning around very fast. He's very fidgety, which is good. He's a running gun player, but I would probably slow it down slightly if I was trying to get a nuke. I think that's something that a lot of people mis make a mistake on in this game. I think they're just doing things a little bit too fast. So he just throws the smoke, jumps on the hill. All right. I'm with it. OBJ, that's what's up. Takes this guy right there. Runs right by the left. Passes out without paying attention. I will go ahead and pay attention every single time that I run that right hand passes. Take him out there. I don't need it. If you wanted to take it. Alright, his teammates were down there. Okay. I understand not looking that way. Hey, that's another one. I have another one. Don't want to care package down. He has a very interesting kill streak loadout. He is running the the uh, personal radar, the care package, and the VTOL jet. So, from what I'm understanding right now, is that he was not in any means going for this nuke. This was just luck, random. So, I, I think that's kind of like how a lot of people on this game are getting their first nukes. Or maybe that's probably why people, a lot of people don't have their first nukes. Let me know down in the comment section right now, what is your current kill streak loadout? Because he has literally only one streak that's potentially, well, technically potentially two streaks that are really going to help him get this nuke. His personal radar, which he has not even called in yet, 
and a care package if he gets a UAV or an advanced UAV out of it. So this is very interesting. He's at an 11 locking this building down. He moved out because he was going to get sniped. That was a very good play right there. I think this is something that a lot of people can relate to, though. I think that people either play too fast or they run the wrong streaks. Because if I was going for my first nuke, I'd definitely be running UAV, VTOL jet, and the advanced UAV. UAV so I can see the enemies. Even if they, if they don't have on Ghost, I can have an idea of where they're coming from by the players that do not have on Ghost. Granted, there is somebody that, you know... Does not have that doesn't have it on. Um, I'd run the VTOL jet to kind of confuse and distract the enemies, and the advanced UAV so I can get as many kills as possible when I have the upper advantage because I could see everybody on the radar. This guy was sniping him. He got he's on a 12 right now. Nice. He would have had his advance by now. Yo, I'm on a, I'm on a 19. No, uh, a 15, 16. The 13. He's on a 13. Sitting up middle map. This guy is incredibly aggressive for his first nuke. Takes this guy out. He's on a 14. Slides middle map again. He's on a 15. I'm going to pause the gameplay right here because we got to discuss some stuff. All right. So I think it's very clear that this guy was not intentionally going for his first tactical nuke just based off his play style. But that's exactly kind of a good thing that we can break down. Now, when you guys are trying to go for your first tactical nukes, I feel like a lot of mistakes people make is they're running around a lot. They're running and hitting middle map a lot. They're not paying attention to the surroundings because what he's playing right now is he's just literally running around just like a chicken with his head cut off middle map. He is kind of playing smart because he's, you know, positioning himself in certain areas of middle map where he could pick enemies off as they're running by. But just off of running up literally middle map on, you know, shoot house, that is a death trap. There's someone always going to be at a head glitch, usually, that would take you out. Uh, people are throwing grenades, smoke grenades. You saw that he threw a smoke grenade. The hard point hill is always changing around middle map. People could be spawning around middle map because it's hard point. I would not be running middle map on this map. I would actually be hitting the outskirts, and I'll be playing for the rotations on the hill and taking enemies out as they are trying to get on the hard point hill. I feel like that would be a smarter uh, situation and a smarter strategy uh, to put yourself into. But we're going to go ahead and continue uh, reacting to his gameplay because this is actually pretty interesting. So right now, he's actually, he's actually playing smart right now. He's looking at the hill, and he's trying to pick enemies off as they are going to the hill. Okay, so I think his mindset is now starting to change. I think that's what happens to a lot of players. When they get around a 15 streak, they start to think, okay, I'm about halfway to the new. Let me go ahead and change exactly. Oh, he's turning up right now. He's on a 19. Nice. The, the nice thing about this is his reaction time is very fast. He's able to get out of situations that would result in certain death very quickly. And I and can respect that. That is very smart. Because he saw a sniper. It's the second time he saw that sniper, this gameplay. As soon as he saw him, he bolted because he knew he could get sniped. That's a very smart, uh, evasive tactic. When you know you can't win the gunfight, just run away. Forget it. Don't even try. There's nothing wrong with that. So right now, I could tell... That he's like, okay, I'm on a 20. Um, I need to play a little bit smarter to get this nuke. He's right there. Yep. Or at least I thought that was a guy right there. I'm so colorblind. <laughs> Alright, got some got a middle map. He ran, he ran top control room again, which is very interesting. I would probably never go top control room on this map. Let alone look this direction of top control room. I'll be looking at the opposite direction, to be fair. And his 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 uh equipment loadout is very strange. Smoke grenade with the Semtex. I'd have on a Betty or a C4 with a stem shot. Still has not called in his personal UAV. I would have been popped that personal UAV right now because he doesn't have an idea where they're at. He's just kind of praying that they come up into top control, which I think two people are right now. His teammate got a UAV. Yep. He's on a 22. 
the hill has been a map again so he's actually in a very good spot right now coincidentally he's in a good spot this guy's looking for him up here oh hell nah i would have stayed on that head glitch he got lucky right there oh he got lucky right there he's on a brutal this guy yo this guy is nerve-wracking yo oh shit please help me come and shoot the camera you got 27 28. Yeah, this guy is nerve wracking. 29. He's one off his nuke. He didn't even pop his personal radar at all. He's getting fidgety. He's shooting. I hear him. Ooh, he's flashed. Oh, it's one kill you. There's no fucking way. Fuck me. He killed the guy flashbang on the headshot. Yeah, this is the. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Yo, this is the luckiest nuke I've ever seen in my entire. This dude is. I'm fucking shaking. This is my first nuke. Hey, I think. I can barely move them. I'm about to. Re I'm about to pause this. All right, so obviously, um, my man, sweetest legend. You're a legend, literally, for that final kill. But I think we can all can agree in this video that this guy was definitely not going for this nuke. Uh, this is just, I'm going to say it, dumb luck. Especially those last couple of kills. The kill streak load that he was running. The equipment load that he was running. It was just dumb luck. Um, this is definitely one of the most interesting nukes I have ever seen. But at the same time, I think we can point out a lot of situations that he put himself in. Situations that he got himself out of. And a lot of you guys can probably learn from this, especially if you guys are going for your first nukes. Now, obviously, luck was on this guy's side. But at the same time, I think that's what's going to happen with a lot of players that are going for their first nukes. Because, like I said, these last couple of kills, especially that last kill, if that was me, my ass would have been dead. I probably would have been dead like when he saw that sniper for the second time. But the fact that he got out of this... Um, GG's to him, man. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to this man's channel just for that last kill. And he didn't even call in his personal UAV, even when he had a situation where he needed the UAV. That's my first nuke. Finally. And he went uh he went he got 51 kills, so uh <laughs> Hey, you're a goat. Make sure you guys absolutely smash the button the video. Subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications, y'all. And also, if you guys want to see more of these gameplay breakdowns where I analyze your gameplay, help you guys improve, or in this situation, just kind of watch how you guys play and uh, wish I had some of that luck. Uh, <laughs> make sure you guys drop a like on the video, man. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. And uh, make sure you guys have a great rest of your day. Deuces. Thank you guys for the absolutely incredible support you guys have been showing on both YouTube and Twitch. To show further appreciation and to help out fellow content creators and streamers, I'll be going ahead and giving away two brand new Elgato HD60 Pros once we hit 1,000 Twitch Prime subscribers on Twitch. The Elgato HD60 Pro is exactly what I use to create and show content to you guys. Now, this giveaway begins on May 15th and ends on June 30th. The winners will be announced on live stream on June 30th at 10 p.m. Central Time. Here's how you guys can enter. So go to the Google search bar and type in twitch.tv slash earsxbl. It's going to bring up my Twitch channel. Go ahead and follow me over on Twitch. You guys know when I'm live and when I'm going to be going ahead and announcing the winners. Now to actually enter the giveaway, click this subscribe button and go down to the free subscription with Twitch Prime. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can automatically subscribe to the channel 110% for free and this will enter you into the giveaway. I can see every 
single person that subscribes to the channel that subs with Twitch Prime. If you do not have Amazon Prime and still want to enter into the giveaway, you can subscribe with a tier one subscription that's gonna be worth one entry into the giveaway. A tier two subscription is gonna be worth two entries into the giveaway. And a tier three subscription is gonna be worth three entries into the giveaway. I thought this would be a great way to give back to the community and try to help out as many people that are trying to become YouTubers or live streamers. With all being said, good luck to everybody that does enter into the giveaway and hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Doses.